Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We're going to talk today about stabilising with your body into impact. Try and help you guys get the best possible chance of hitting the middle of the face and hitting some decent shots. So, let's talk about stabilisation. Done it a bit at the moment. Let's talk about it a bit more. Let's get stuck in. So I'm stood here practicing, and I'm hitting a few shots, um, and I'm trying to hit targets. Let's just hit a shot here. So that's not a bad shot at all. It's a fraction up the left, but I'll take it. So what we've got there is my club path is one degrees to the left. So I've come across it by one degrees. My face was half a degree open, um, and that's 1.9 meters left, so at target. Let's do another one. So hitting target because my path, my face to path angles were pretty good in relationship to the target I'm trying to hit. So again, very similar shot. I'll give it a fraction left, the wind's slightly off the right today. So I've swung that one two left, so slightly further left on that one. And then my face is 1.8 degrees open, I'm 2.8 meters left. Let's do one more. So I'm hitting target here, they're slightly left, but these are birdie putts. Um, you know, and I'll be pretty happy with those results. There we go, there's one right out towards target. That's a much better shot. So I've swung straight, face is half a degree open, and I'm less than one meter left of target on that one. So good shot. So look, the skill of the game for me, and using machines like these boys here, is trying to get the club path and the face to marry that path to hit a ball with as little curve as possible and to send both of those angles somewhere towards target. So if we break that down, so I'm trying to zero out my numbers if you like to hit the best shots for me. Um, so if we take this down, so I've got this stick on the floor. To get those numbers zeroing, we're going to use a few generalizations here. So let's look, I'm going to try and get the club swinging along this straight cane. So obviously when you hit a shot, there's more of a kind of rotation happening down at the ball. The club is coming from angles. It's doing more of a semicircle, if you like, down by the ball. But let's just talk about it for this point of the video. Let's just talk about it being as straight down by the ball here. So the skill of the game has now come for me to try and move this club along a straight path along this cane, while at the same time trying to keep the face from twisting, trying to marry up with the line of the cane as well. So my face path is square and my path is zero as well in, in a sense. So don't forget down or ups for this part. Let's just think about club path and face. So this game, swinging at seven miles an hour here, is quite easy. In fact, it's not a game. It's so easy I'd get bored and give it up within 10 minutes. So what happens is let's pretend I want to hit the ball and people say you need your weight left so I'm going to put my weight left and I need to rotate open a little bit so okay so I'm now weight left rotated open I can still play the game it makes me feel like I'm going to hit this iron on the way down which is all cool for me and I can still get the club moving up and down along this straight line when I'm just swinging my arms backwards and forwards so my hips and my shoulders have stopped they're stable they're in a position I'm just swinging my arms backwards and forwards let's pretend the game changes so I now got to try and keep the club moving along this straight line and you're swinging at 70, uh, 7 miles an hour but now what I'm going to do is I have to turn my hips and shoulders fast as I do it and now that becomes really hard the club's wobbling around the face is twisting a little bit I don't really know what the angles are much harder for me to control let's do another one so let's pretend I now need to do it and I'm going to put a thrust in so the common one we see so as soon as I start putting a bit of a thrust in as I come in to hit the ball, this becomes impossible now. I mean, the club's just pushing way out to the right of the cane on the floor. So to get the cane moving along this straight line, if I'm going to thrust, I have to start raising the handle. To try and keep it. And now because I'm raising the handle, that's changing where the face is pointing. So I feel like I'm going to rotate the face more. So you can see, if I'm trying to play this simple game of moving the club at seven miles an hour along this cane, and as I hit the ball, my hips are still moving aggressively, rotationally, thrusting with rotation. At seven miles an hour, this becomes a hard game. If I try and hit a seven iron here now at 80 miles an hour, and I don't get into the ball and feel any kind of stability with my body, so I feel like my body is actually stopping as I come in to hit the ball so I can deliver the hit along the cane. Well, I mean, at that speed, I wouldn't do it. I feel like I'm gonna hit the camera here. 
So most of my students that come to me, and we're doing a lot of work with people with this at the moment, they're making massive differences to their quality of strike. More of you people out there watching this video today are unstable as you hit the ball. So your hips and shoulders are actually speeding up into impact, through impact or even past. Your hips and shoulders aren't slowing down into impact like these guys and girls you're watching on the telly are. So what these people on the telly are doing is they're creating some movements on the way back. They have a movement on the way down which has some energy in, but then when the club gets anywhere near the ball, their body is actually slowing down. Hips and shoulders are stabilising, slowing down to allow for the pressure of the club pushing through, allow for the speed of the club coming through, and also to allow for any consistent strike so they can come control the angles along this cane or through the hit. I mean, if we look at some grass here, I've used grass before, let's just look at the shapes of these grass. Try not to get too bogged down in the word grass. You can see with the three lines on this graph, that on the downswing, so between those two black lines, there is a peak and then a drop. So the red line, bottom line there is the hips, then you've got the shoulder line above it, and then the hand line above it. That's three centers on my body using a K vest. So peak and then a drop, peak and then a drop, and then the hands peak much closer to impact and then drop off as well. Because if we had a sensor on the club, hopefully that would be the one peaking its speed of rotation out towards the ball. So you can see good players are hitting shots by creating speed on the way down in their body, but then turning their body off, almost stopping their body as they fire their arms at the club. Most amateurs are hitting the ball. There's a, a gross generalization. This is obviously a little bit of a, a kind of a stereotype if you like are hitting it much more on the move they have no stabilization allows them not to build up power through the chain and send it onto the club and the most important thing that i see it makes them miss the middle of the face and so many people miss the middle of the face and we look at things the numbers that they're hitting on launch monitors and they're creating spins from a thing called gear effect they're creating spins because they're not hitting the middle of the face not always because the angles aren't that right quality of strike is hard even when they're getting the angles quite good so stabilization is such an important thing for you guys to understand and stabilization is such an uh, important thing that you guys start to try and think about work into your games the best drill to uh, i use for people to kind of just assess a little bit of this how they stabilize or not and i've done this in other videos it's just hitting off one foot Right foot on its toe, left foot on the ground. I've got the ball opposite my left foot here, seven iron. How hard can you hit this ball while still keeping balance on that one foot? I can really feel my left leg having to completely fire to keep me stood up there. The muscles in my ankle, up through the leg, into the top of my leg here, really trying to fire to keep me upright so I don't fall over as I throw my arms against this stable base. Hit a few shots off one foot, try and swing their arms as fast as you can without doing yourself an injury and without falling over. And see how easy or hard that is for you. Most people who can't stabilize find that really, really hard. The concept of hitting the ball by just throwing their arms at it is a surreal one because obviously we're all told to start hips, shoulders, hands on the downswing. That's the sequence, which it is. Um, but that sequence is so fast happening lots of people can't find it so they're actually starting to fire their hips because their brain's trying to I think fire their hips as the club's coming into the ball because they're delayed through through how fast the club is traveling their hips are delayed their thoughts are delayed to the reality of where the strike is so stabilization guys you've got to be hitting your shots while stabilizing down through your left foot or up through your left foot and down through your left side your body needs to be slowing down best way to do that hit some shots off one foot See how good you are at actually stabilizing into impact you'll find your strike will massively improve if you do a lot of that great way to warm up just hit pitches one foot just get the feeling of your arms firing across your chest out in front of you out towards the target and then build that into a full swing feel that left leg firing as you throw your arms out towards that target you'll find your strikes massively improve thanks for watching let me know what you think. Post comments down below. Makes sense, doesn't make sense. I'd love to hear your thoughts because we'll do more if you're not getting it to try and make you understand what you need to be doing to hit this ball a lot better. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, Find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf.
Thanks for watching.